Hey there, my name is Prakash. I am the head of product and one of the co-founders of Xano.com. For those of you that don't know Xano, it is the fastest way to build a powerful and scalable backend for your web, mobile, or IoT application without using any code. Since you're probably here uh, from Craft, uh, more than likely you already have an app with some revenue and traction, but if you were thinking of building a microservice or were considering a rebuild, we highly recommend that you take a look at Xano. With all of that said, let me give a recap just in case there are those that uh, aren't here from Craft. So David Sachs, the GOAT, um, posted this tweet and uh, he's from Craft Ventures. And this was basically a blog post that really covers all of the health uh, metrics that matter for your SaaS organization. But the uh, coolest part about this post, uh, besides detailing out everything, was he also included an internal tool that him and his team at Craft Ventures use to evaluate um, SaaS products and uh, they figure out whether they're investable or not. And that is called SaaS Grid. And so going to SaaS Grid, if you look at it, if you upload data to them, you can basically see all of the health metrics that uh, David talks about here in this blog post article article broken down very neatly and in a beautiful dashboard. And so one of the things that he said here in his tweet was if you uh, actually upload this uh, data in the SAS grid format, then within one business day, him and his team at Craft will get back to you and let you know whether you are investment worthy for their venture firm. Now, the issue is when you go to SAS Grid and you try to upload um, the template, you first have to download their CSV format and it looks something like this. So, uh, you know, there's basically the top and bottom that cover your COGS and your OPEX and that's stuff that you're going to have to manually enter. But then they ask you to put in the revenue and most SaaS products use Stripe. And so ideally, you know, instead of manually entering on a customer by customer basis, uh, the revenue on a per month basis, wouldn't it be great if you could automatically just have this part filled out by Stripe? We definitely uh, want to be considered by uh, Craft one day, and we felt like we would do this for the community of people that wanted to, um, to basically automatically import all of their data into this bottom part of the spreadsheet, and then they can go ahead and fill out this top part. So in order to do that, we've basically created a snippet. For those of you that don't know, a snippet is basically like a tiny backend uh, that you can leverage to basically do whatever you want. It comes with a database table and a couple API endpoints. Um, so uh, I'm going to, this link uh, to the snippet is at the bottom of this video, but I'm going to go ahead and preview the snippet so I can show you exactly how you get started. So the first thing to note is that you are not signing up for a Xano account by previewing this snippet. This is an anonymous temporary workspace that you're going to use to import Stripe data into and then convert that into that SAS grid CSV. And then this is going to go away. So included in this backend snippet are a couple API endpoints and a temporary database. The first one takes two CSVs from Stripe and uh, transforms them into the format that we need for SAS grid. And the second one uh, generates that SAS grid CSV. It's worth noting that this first one, depending on how many transactions you have, might take you know 60 to 90 seconds uh, to run. But after it's done, this one should be a lot faster, like around uh, 15 seconds to 20 seconds to generate that CSV. So the instructions are here, but we're going to go ahead and walk through it right now. So the first thing to do is click on this first API endpoint and click run and debug. So it's asking for an invoice file and a subscription file. So I get that by going to Stripe. And you can see here that I'm in test mode, but this will work exactly the same way with your live transaction data. You're going to go to payments and you're going to click invoices. And then you're going to click um, export right over here. So when you click export, make sure that the date range is all. So you want all of the invoices. And what this does is this uh, downloads all, in this case, 1700 uh, invoice transactions. And this invoices report keeps track of whether you issue discounts or credits. So it really has the true revenue that you're getting month over month. So that's what this report does. And when it's done, it's going to download it over here like I'm seeing. So I'm going to close this. The second report we need is subscriptions. This should go a lot faster. But basically, Stripe doesn't have one report um, that uh, maps your transactions to whether they're annual or monthly. So subscriptions does that. So we're going to want to make sure to select all here on the date range and hit export. 
And then uh, this should be much faster. So this will download a subscription CSV and now we are ready to go. So go ahead and in Xano, there's an invoice file. Just go ahead and click browse and then select invoices and say open. And then here for subscriptions, you're gonna select the subscription CSV that you just downloaded. It's worth noting that if this checkbox is uh, checked, make sure to uncheck it because we don't wanna store any debug information and make this query longer than it needs to be. Um, but when I go ahead and click run, just remember to expect you know, seven, 1,700 transactions might take like 90 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and click run and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're back. So that took about 90 seconds for uh, almost 1,800 transactions. So depending on how many you have, it could definitely take longer. So what that's done is if I click on this database tab and I click over here, I can see all the transactions have been imported uh, into this database table. So what I wanna do is I can go back to my dashboard or my API, it doesn't matter. I can hop to the second API endpoint. And now with all of the data stored, I can just go ahead and click run and debug. And this should be a lot faster. Once again, make sure this is unchecked and go ahead and click run. So this is going to then parse all of the data and then uh, download the SAS grid CSV with all the customer revenue data, including if it's annual transactions broken out month over month. Um, we're gonna release another video on how we did all the business logic next week. Um, but for right now, just go ahead and leverage the tool and make your life easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download and it's gonna download this SAS grid CSV over here. Um, I have uh, an example open of what it does, but if you look over here, uh, you can see on a customer by customer basis, it's basically breaking up the transactional data. If it's annual, it's gonna split it out month over month. Um, we obviously don't know your COGS or your OPEX, um, but we did uh, auto populate all of the relevant months here for you, for you to fill out yourself. So once this is all done, I'm just going to upload uh, the invoice or sorry, the CSV that was just generated. I'm gonna click browse files. I'm gonna click SAS grid data. That's what I just generated. And then uh, it's gonna upload it and here we go. See, so all of the revenue data is here. I obviously didn't enter in any cogs or anything like that. So this is from all the Stripe test data that I have. So um, hopefully you find this helpful and this is obviously a lot easier than entering everything manually. If you do happen to be using SAS Grid to apply to Craft, then best of luck with everything. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. We are no code backend on Twitter. We will see you in the next video.